Yo, yo. What up, what up? Welcome back to Virginia Vices, episode five. Five. Numero cinco. Ocho cinco. (laughs) So, uh, we got some stuff to talk about this evening, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're listening to it. It is the time that you're... (laughs) listening to so, whatever you want it to be for sure um we got an upcoming uh event this weekend that we're gonna have a miniature watch party for uh what ufc 300 the thing we've been waiting for so long so long so long uh we made a couple of videos already uh talking about some stuff on the on the way here on the way up the mountain yeah uh, to this great event and uh you know, it's only a few days away now. What do you think the canvas color is going to be? Oh, because yeah, they were talking about that, right? UFC 200 was, what was it, yellow? Yeah. It was yellow, right? Something like that. Dude, they should do, like, black. Just black it out. Black? Make it look small to the fighter. You know how black just makes things look smaller? I'll fuck up their eyes, dog. Yeah, close them in. Make them feel like they have to just... Yeah, or really fuck it up and put, like, a jungle under. That'll fuck up the... <laughs> yeah. Happy yeah. like, oh, Where's wild. his leg? <laughs> It's blending in. That would be crazy. <laughs> hey, that'd be hard as fuck to watch. I would. I'd be. I'd be upset. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. But be, you know, it'd be kind of funny. You have some people watching, uh, watching with night vision goggles or, or thermal, <laughs> thermal. Goggles. I can't see shit. I'm gonna have to look for heat. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. No, we can't do that. Maybe black. Black would be cool. But you gotta make it. You gotta make it a cool kind of design. Or you never know. They could take the was a Bellator route. Just do blue. We don't we don't do that. No, fuck with yeah. right. no we I no mean we plug. talk no free plug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um I think we should I think they should just do a cool design. You know, you imagine if they did the uh like what WWE does on their side of their mats on on a lot of their shows, they have it to where it's or it, it's like a board, uh a TV kind of thing. Yeah. I don't not TV, but you know what I mean, it's running media. Like LED. Or, yeah, something like that. LED panels on it, and they fight on that, and then really fuck them up. Add like another fighter in there what? on the floor. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Showing highlights as you're getting as you're in your middle of your fight on That'd the be floor. Fucking everything up. Oh my god. They'd be stepping and getting dizzy. Oh, they would fall over just because. Can you imagine like face first into the panel, open your eyes, just blinded, <laughs> and you get up and you're like squinting. Yeah, that'd oh. be crazy. No, that'd be crazy. They got to do something for. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, dog. I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully they surprise us with the color. That'd be dope. Yeah. So. <clears throat> they should. They said the gloves look different. Yeah. I, they're probably going to have like 300 on them or something. It's probably not going to be a new design. And probably <clears throat> the gold 300. Might as well just do a gold canvas. Oh, gold. Like a shimmery. Gold. Yeah. My winkies are cute. <laughs> um, no, that'd be, gold would be kind of cool. I don't know about shimmery. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Okay. But, a little uh, sparkle into the lights. Something. Um, those trunks, though, bro. Oh my god, those trunks look tight. You know, Sean O'Malley being the trailblazer with the pink trunks, and they plug my boy Max Holloway. Was it? No, don't don't give love to oh, him first. Mitchell. Yeah, exactly. Don't Bryce Mitchell. Don't be give, give him show him love, show him respect. He came with the camo shorts before everybody, and then he caught that mean fate. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He didn't represent. Hey, but at least he got his shorts. Yeah, so he can hide in the woods and then catch another <laughs> one of them fades. You're wild. You're wild. Um, no, nah, but they uh, they look dope. Justin Gaethje got that American bread uh, shorts. They look cool. They black. Potons will be a little. Uh, Potons are super Brazilian. Yeah, just vibrant as hell. Yeah, that's crazy. Now, when they do next, that'd be dope if they had uh, somebody from Africa fighting on this card. That 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 would be a wild one. Yeah, probably maybe the best one. But I I like uh, Max Holloway's. Those are dope. Got that Hawaii vibe on there. Hawaii Lee. Yeah, she has like a Japanese. Not Japanese. She's, whoa, dude! Don't Excuse be disrespectful. Me. Didn't dog. mean to do that. Oh my she has like God. the Chinese Chinese medallion on it. Yeah, and something. like the dragon stuff. Like you're in a. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. It's like red, gold, and black. Yeah. So it looks cool. It looks cool. I think that's it, right? That that's all I saw. You see that they, there was a uh, one going around for uh, Sean Strickland, Sean Strickland, uh, jean shorts. One. 
<laughs> that was like crazy. crazy. But he would do it. Oh, for sure. But they would, would never it. allow that. No, not at all. No, they would. Jean shorts or jean short no, pattern? No, jean short pattern. It's just that they look like they're literally the same material, everything, but they just, the design on them. Would that mess with your psyche, though? Cause what? Why? As a, re- as a former wrestler, I know certain, like, oh, shit, bro, this guy's got fucking athletic tape on his head. I got to go grapple in close, obviously, rub my forehead on their forehead, get head control, arm control. That's fucking your face up. So you're imagine, worrying about your Imagine head. rubbing, rubbing your face name. on denim, bro. Like you're going in for the it's single. It's not real denim. I know, but psychologically you think, oh, it's denim. That's, that's what you're thinking about? It's going to be a little rough. Yeah, and that's what, I, that's what I think. We've both been in real <laughs> fights numerous times. Have you ever once thought about that? No, but I'm playing 50. So sh- no, I'm playing so 50 stop. Cups. Stop I'm playing 50 because I'm going to take you down. You never thought. But you never thought about, hey, what they're wearing. <laughs> Oof. Unless you're looking at their boots, if they shorts. got boots that might the buckle on them car or that button on that cargo short might hurt. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. Yeah, boots is a no go. Yeah. All right, take your shoes off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Now they all look cool. They all look cool. I, th- I think those are the only shorts. Yeah, that was all I saw. I'm sure there might be some surprises. Maybe uh, Jamal Hill. Mm. Maybe I have two thumbs up on him. Yeah, they didn't give him any. I didn't see no special shorts for him. Surprising. He probably didn't want them. His would be like Facebook. You know, the like button. The like button. Yeah. So, Whack. or meta, whatever it is. Whack. Yeah. I don't think his would be good. Unless he has some like Detroit type of shit, because I think he's from Detroit. Just get the Detroit Lions. Oh, no, nah, like Car City or something like that, where they call it. Car City. Yeah. What's that? That's Detroit, dog. They manufacture all the fucking cars in the country. Ford. I don't know. Yeah. They were a huge. Ford Field. Okay, Ford. Ford. <laughs> Car I'm sure Chrysler was there or yeah. Dodge or whatever. I'm sure there's quite a few manufacturing places there. Were. Yeah. But still, I heard they on the comeback. So you look at their team. They yeah. trying to go against us, going against the great ones. But anyway, on USC <laughs> 300. Uh, we got those fights. We already. I think we kind of know what our picks are in a way, right? Yeah, well, we can just run through it right now if you want. Okay. You want to go from top to bottom, or just go around? We can go from. I don't bottom top. I think I know the order. So I got Bo Nichols against Cody. Okay. Who you got? Bo. Oh, okay. Big Bo. Obviously, I got Charles Oliveira against Armand Sarukian. 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 Yeah. I think. Um, I'm going to go. The thing is, you know, the champ does have a name. And his name is the Bronx, rightfully so. Yes. But. Don't do it. But. I've done it three times and never worked out in my favor. I know. I've I've always bet on him. I always bet on him. You know what? I'm going to always, I'm going to go with my gut here and, uh, I'm going Armand Sarukian. You're gonna go with all oh, man. Yeah, all oh, man. I think he got he got the juice right now, and um, this is his thing because he he's gonna go back against Islam. He's gonna go fight Islam again. I think he fought him already once. So I think that's what the play is. I think the dude's a beast. He's strong as shit. Um, so is Michael Chandler. Yeah, hundred percent. But this guy's like built different. You could tell he has this confidence about him. He has like a almost like a like a Ilya confidence. He's just he's like he's super he has this thing about him like he's the new guy on the block. Does his bio say his record? I believe so. Okay. I'm still going with the Bronx. Okay. I got it. Twenty. Twenty. All right. All right. Okay, and then Way Lee, of course. Way Lee. Yeah. You know, it's hard to um, put anything against her, so I'm going to go Way Lee as well because, you know, it's a win-win for China. In for that, sure. In that, you know, it doesn't just, matter. She's a dog of a fighter. You can't she is, She's so good. It's That's why it's just hard to – and she just – she finishes people. So that's what you want to see. Yep. Okay. When she kicked Yana, Jan Jacek in the dome piece, that was wild. I think it was a kick. Yeah. Was it a kick? It was a kick. Or it was hit it right in her ear. It was was like, that Rose? 
No, she is Ioana. Bam. Not just mm, bad, oh. bad. Speaking of Ioana, congratulations, Hall of Fame. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You were a feisty one in a, in a top tier feisty one. So you were the, you were very entertaining for your uh, whole career. For sure. Even with the big hematoma. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. You have the best pitcher by far. <laughs> Best picture of getting pieced up by far. Oh my, that was a, that was the wildest stuff I've ever seen in my life, and uh, I never want to see that again. I'd be the first person to call timeout in UFC history. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. out. I'm out. The fuck? Give me a mirror. I thought she. You know what I really thought was happening? She was like gaining strength in her forehead, <laughs> like Mega Mind. Just yeah, absorbing. just just absorbing it, and she's just about to just. <laughs> <laughs> go off, dog. She's about to start floating in the ring. Go <laughs> off. Have you seen that Green Lantern movie? That bad one with Ryan Reynolds. The dude's head just keep getting bigger and bigger. I haven't seen that. That's but... crazy. So, but yeah. And then, uh, of course, I'm going with Max. Oh, hundred percent. Whoa, Sorry. hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. What? You going with Max? Yeah, I gotta go with Max, bro. Okay, good. I'm glad you Volume are. and accuracy eventually hurts. Yeah. Especially when you don't see it coming. I'm saying T I'm I'm saying TKO. No. Yep. If it's gonna be a TKO, it's gonna be the fifth. I don't know. That man's hard to put away. Justin Gaethje does not go away. I get it. And the only time I think Justin Gaethje is what, thirty six? Thirty four. Are you sure? Yeah. I think the age is like 36. He's 34 because they were talking about how Alexander Volkanovsky just turned like 35. Because Max is like 31. <clears throat> and Dustin Poirier turned 35. Connor's 30. Or thir- Dustin Poirier is 34. Connor's 34. Like all these fighters are hitting 34, and that's where they're supposed to fall off. Justin Kitchy is 34 or something like that. Are you sure? I feel like you're a year. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. It, it's, it's, it's fine. Who cares, right? Yeah. Because within a year, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, but it's max time, dog. Like, Justin Gaethje's always going to be fun to watch, and Justin Gaethje's the only guy that hasn't fought his own in the top, in that in that rotation of dogs, right? So Or Dustin. What? Dustin didn't fight his own. Yeah, he did. No, he hasn't. I think he did. Or no, not, oh, wait, hold on. It, Justin's fought his own. Did D- he? Dustin oh, hasn't. yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So then, <laughs> max. <laughs> And it even that well, one I was Max is my favorite fighter, yeah, for sure. So I'm definitely going Max. I ordered his uh his autograph board off his website. It's about that's coming. That's coming Friday. Put that up on the wall. Yes, sir. So that one's pretty dope. That one's pretty dope. Trying to support the support the goat, the goat of the feather featherweight division. So I need to go ahead and cop that Louisiana Diamond Allen's house. Yeah, get that too. Get that you know, I haven't had it yet. I haven't seen it. Oh, you know, I, I think I did see it at the store one time. No, I didn't see it at the store. What did I see at the store? I don't know. It might be at the store. It might be. It might be, but you just go online and order it. So. Yeah. But, yeah, and then uh, that's it. Oh, then we got. Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill and uh, Powhatan. Yeah. Powhatan. Who are you going with? Jamal Hill. Oh, <laughs> buddy, you, okay, yeah. you turn last moment, okay. Yeah. That's why I led with his name. Okay. As did yes, you. you did. Uh, As did you. Yeah. You led with his name because you know he's going to win. No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I don't think, I think he, he has ability to clearly catch him. He's a champion, but, and he's a, you know, he's a guy that hits hard, but he also gets hit. He gets hit in fights too. Look at his face. His face be jacked. But right? he weathers it. Sure, you know. He does weather it. Yeah, for for sure, for sure. I don't think and he has a strong resume. He's coming up from 185. Who? Or, yeah, 185. No, he's not coming from that. He's I'm not, been talking, at, about, I'm not talking about Jonah Hill. Or Jamal Jonah Hill. Hill. I know, you're talking about Poetan. Hey. He's hey, already, boy, dude, Jonah he, Hill. he, <laughs> <laughs> he already proved, he already beat the, uh, the champion. That's cool. That's cool. What, okay, what's the injury that Jamal Hill has? He... Had a ruptured Achilles. There you go, right? We're talking about him coming off Achilles as a fighter. Okay. Poetan. His strength is a kicking. It doesn't matter if you're coming from it or not. 
He's fighting at heavier than him. Anyway, he's he, this is his bread and butter he's gonna class. Get, he's going to feel that power and be like, oh, fuck. Nah, he's power. This isn't. He just beat he? Francis. He just hit harder than Francis and Ganu at the USCPI. He just. Do you see that video? Strength. He kicked Power. harder. He kicked harder. No, punched. Punched harder. Stop the cap. I swear. Look it up. It's Stop right now. The they just posted the it. Cap. They just posted it. Hundred percent. Did they post Jamal Hills? Jamal. He because the thing is Jamal didn't even register on it. <laughs> oh, now I know you're capping. No, for real, they didn't. They didn't. Post is because he doesn't have the record. They don't post the losers, you know. I mean, but you do think you see, you know, when they do the fights, they never post the loser unless they're retiring. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So therefore, Why would you give him spotlight? Right. So it's free club. Right. You're losing exactly. So why would they post Jamal Hill not beating anybody's record? You get what I'm saying? No matter, bro. He gonna he gonna get that little sneaky power hit. He be like, oh shit. Nah, Chama. The fuck was Jama. that? Was that an octopus? Jama. <laughs> he got this, dog. He got this. Jama. Jama. What does that mean? I think it means like let's go. Yeah, it means let's go. <laughs> Did yeah. you see the video of Jama? What is that? What is Jama? <laughs> yeah. Do you let's... see do you see him fanboy over? He got all the fighters. Like, yeah, all the fighters on it. Can you sign it? Yeah. And he just looked at him like, uh, yeah, yes. And mm-hmm. then my boy Jamal Hill sized him up. Realize he had a longer reach. He sized him up and realized that this mouth is huge. And he got that reach test real quick. You know, grabbed his shoulder, extended his arms. All right. All right. This is say that then, bro. He's a I'm gonna, giant. I'm finna touch that big ass jaw. Yeah. Well, whatever. You can't. You can't mess with a stone face assassin. I thought it was stone hands. Stone hands. I thought it was stone hands. The stone face, stone hinge. Stone hinge. Yeah. Mm. He's Stonehenge, as you know, his little Stonehenge faces or whatever, right? Those yeah. Easter Island dudes. Liver shots not Stonehenge. Too. Easter <laughs> Island. Oh, you have me talking about Stonehenge. It's not even the same thing. Easter <laughs> Island big head dudes. Oh. You know those? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's. They always do his face after and shit. But like that. But yeah. Maybe but yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a fun night. That's yeah, gonna be a be fun night. Even the prelims. I don't know the lineup for the prelims, but I know they're bangers. Yeah, the prelim. Cody, no love. Fighting Davison Figueroa, Figueredo, Figueredo, whatever his name is. Davison Figueredo. The champion, prior champ at 125. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That'd be nice. Who's a homeboy that uh, was a prior champ? Oh, you just brought him up. No, there was another guy that was a prior champion. Yeah. That's on the underguard prelims. Who? Was it the Viking dude? We got into an argument with somebody on the... I don't know. Oh, Al Jermaine. Al Jermaine's fighting against Calvin Cater. Oh, That's going to be a banger. Not if he goes like how Calvin or Cater against That's, Holloway went. That's a super banger. Okay. Sterling will win that. Why do you, what? Yeah. Nah. Calvin Cater. I know. Uh, uh, Sterling's not going to drop two L's in a row. Sterling looks jacked for this. They got a lot of water weight, though, I think. He's going to dehydrate and get it back. And then rehydrate it. No, he's already looking like... he's. He says he, he, says he weighs 154 right now. What? And it's Wednesday. So he's like, this is easy cut. And then he's going to rehydrate. So Even he's, more. He's going to be in the cage at like 170. Yeah. Throwing bombs. Yeah. Dub. No. He said usually he would be at like 145 right now because he fights at 25 or 135. So okay. I was like, okay. But uh, yeah, he's gonna be fine against Cal- Calvin. Calvin Cater, man, he's a he's a beast. So that dude's a beast. He, he can, he can he, he, take like, some damage. He, yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. But he, he, you know, he's. I think he's learned a lot since uh, that fight. He's been he's been, uh, he's been doing his thing. So yeah, move your head. Yeah. Well, that was that was uh, your boy Ortega. Put your hands up or whatever. <laughs> he tried to help him. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. So yeah. So I'm excited for that. Uh, what we got uh, up next, bro? Drake and Kendrick, what is going on? Oh man, tell me about it. And then J Cole bowing out after coming out with that fire, which really, I mean, it's fire. But I give it an eight after listening to it. I thought the album was re- actually pretty <clears throat> good. Um, 
I don't I don't know how much like it's all entertaining for argument wise, right? Like just them going back and forth the, the beefs are it's always fun to watch as long as it doesn't go into like violent stuff because then that's just stupid. For sure. Keep but when the they're track. just yeah, when they're just killing it in the bars and stuff like that, that is to me Well, these are different kind of uh you can't categorize these rappers with the new age of hood violence and shit like that. These guys have been in the game. Kendrick, J. Cole, Future, mm-hmm. Metro, Drake. Like, they're just about their money and they're about their peace. Obviously a little bit of beef. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that... Uh what did Joe Budden say today? Wait, hold on. Let me go back to my point though, real quick. I was gonna say, J. Cole. Um, it's it's just it's a little different here. Listening to his album after, like I don't know. I guess I don't know how to feel. I don't care, you know. But it's just weird for him to say, "I'm sorry for doing it." Sorry for doing that album. That's not you know, and all that stuff. And as so I was like, man, so you I mean did you just put? So you didn't really feel this, or like because when you listen to it, you f- like. I feel like he's just rapping like J. Cole does. and But now that you know he doesn't have any feeling, he like or he's telling us he doesn't feel, t- like, he doesn't feel these words that he's saying, it feels, now listen to it, it's like. Eh. It's like dog water. It's like you just don't want, you don't want to hear anybody. Like, just like when you hear, you know, stupid, you know, or just other rap that's talking about, you know, shooting up and blah, 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 and you get, it's like crunk music that gets you a little hype and stuff like that. Then, yeah. but you don't got nobody telling you anything else. They're not saying, "Man, I just really do. I don't do this." Like you know, you do, you're one. You already know they don't do it. Yeah, right. It just so. waters down the blow. It's yeah. like, dang. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you're out of it now, and now it's just Drake and Kendrick. That, that's what we think, right? I mean, I, I feel it like could be Drake, Kendrick, and Future in it now. Yeah. And then now you're talking about <clears throat> the new a bit new big three. And not now, it's, since J. Cole's like, I don't even want part of it. That's it's crazy to say. So now you do you, like so you, you think that him saying lyrics, that takes him out of the, the conversation of big three. He doesn't want to be in it. He doesn't want to be in the beef. But it's not even a real beef. It's just a rap. It's a rapping. No, ain't nobody doing nothing else. They just rapping. I mean, I mean, I did hear some things about Metro's girl. <sighs> I mean, that's where this all started. I don't know. I don't know what else, how it loving all started. Loving the crew. <laughs> you're loving the crew. I, I don't know how <laughs> any of it started. Um, Only they know. Only they know. And so, hey. I just, but, but when I was going to say, Joe Budden said that he, he hears some crazy stuff that's had, coming out. Had me feeling like someone's going to die. Yeah. The intensity in that conversation was like, sheesh. Yeah, he said. He says he know like he just knows that they both came out of the studio. I'm mean, like, okay, and he's like, it's it's crazy. It, it, yeah, he says Drake's is crazy. Yeah, so he kind of like, he had me a little confused on who he was really leaning towards. I think this is like one of his first times that he's not really like uh, against Drake. Not against him, but I think this is the first time. Maybe he heard something that like, and he's like, oh, oh. Oh, he's doing it, doing it. Like, the way he, he likes it. Oh, you're coming like that, bro. Yeah. So, right. pause. <laughs> <laughs> Big pause. God. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, he, he says so. So, I'm, I'm excited. He said they might do something this Friday, maybe. I mean, that's when a uh, second album for Metro Boon and Future is supposed to come out. So. Oh, that would be nasty. <laughs> that would be nasty. <laughs> is it 12th, right? He said Something like that. They, they said the 13th. 12th or 13th. One of the two. Well, the 12th is like Friday, <clears throat> I believe. Is that Friday? Yeah. So it should be then. Yeah. Whatever Friday. Yeah, the 12th. Yeah. So that's yeah. going to be cool. That's going to be cool. But, you know, it's just, it doesn't, you know, I even listened to it today and it just doesn't, you just got to listen to it, not even. No. Yeah. You just got to listen to it for what it is, but it's like kind of weak, weak sauce now. I like to look back, like, even, like, when Drake was beefing with Meek Mill, bro, listening to his diss tapes. I go back and play those things. I'm like, dang, I remember that. Yeah. I can go back. I can't go back to this now and be like that. I just 
Dang, I can go back to this album. You and it's just, different. You when, out, bro. Yeah, it's because it's different when, like, after all of it, they, like, dap up and say, you know, or they, they squash it, right? That's different. Yeah. But you didn't see it through. Yeah, you, you gave up. You threw in the... You threw, like, the towel in and pulled it out. or you, you, It was, like, weird, man. You just, like, you just took everything out of it. You took all the gas out of that stuff. I have the hype with you in it. But uh, all respect to you, J. Cole, but got to see it through, my boy. It's hard to believe that he didn't feel that way. Maybe that's maybe saying that he didn't feel like that after all said and done and it's out. He's like, because you know how you just, after a time, you don't really care anymore. Or maybe. And he probably don't care no more. And he's like, ugh, why did I even do it? Why did I even do it, dude? It could be that, yeah. And but, then, but, he, but at the moment, he felt that stuff. Doesn't mean Kendrick can come back and say something. He should. He should He he should capitalize on him now. came out. and apologized to me, nigga. Fuck the big three. Yeah. He think he's going to say it again? He, he's, you think he's really going to say F the big three again? No. No, but he's going to bring up him apologizing. He should. That would re-engage J. Cole real quick. Don't care what you yeah, say. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. But I feel like J. Cole bowed out because he heard, A, he heard something Drake was about to put out and was like, ah, oh, too far. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Or he lost emotion like you think, but I think he heard what Drake's about to put out. Maybe it's just str- and. It's like going too far, and he just like you're bringing down the culture because you're about to end his career <laughs> or something. He's about to do something that he's like, I don't want to be a part of this. Respectively, you're I can't. I don't look. We've been hanging out and doing all this stuff in concerts. We're supposed to do an album together, bro. What you're about to do is gonna put like me, people really mad, or just ruin his career. Because, honestly... Ruin whose career? Kendrick's. I don't think you can say anything to ruin somebody else's career. Really. You know, I mean, I guess we'll find out. Drake powered through that. Through what? When they were trying to say about the Ghost Rider part. He powered through that so much that nobody gave nothing. Because you know he writes his stuff, too. And he's, I think he's a collaborator. So. Yeah. But, yeah, it is. But, I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm, I, I, this is real rap beef. If it really does come to fruition the way we hope, that's real rap beef. That's awesome. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then boo-boo. Another upset. Yeah. Speaking of upset. Rasheed Rice, bro. Your Chiefs. Not my <laughs> you, said you, were, you said you were done. Well, hold on. No, no hold, on. hold on. No, hold I on. can call I witnesses. Even, I don't even want to let you go further on this because you're about to say something crazy. I want to tell you this. You were so done with your team. You wanted to be. You were talking about your, you, you, who you're rooting for now, and you went straight up Chiefs. You're I think, like, I think what? You're, I think you're talking about Penn because that wasn't me. That was you. Because he always goes, what? Seattle? No, no, no. I'm Chiefs fan. Nope. You, what you, talking about? you said this. Yeah. You said in front of Dad. You're capping, bro. I'm not. I would, I would never. <sighs> okay. I would never. Okay. Never. Yes, you did. Never. Just like never. you say you beat him in golf. I will tending his ass in golf. No, you did. Dog. You well, barely have ever beat me. Barely and have I ever beat you. Barely have ever, right? I beat you more than you beat me, and that's a fact. <laughs> Don't lie. Because Ladies the thing is, you, you, there's a lot of cavalry good. going on around here, bro. You're this good is for a few holes, and then you just fall completely donkey yes. shit apart, dude. Listen, every ladies fu- and gentlemen, every time I come to the golf course prepared in my victory red, I lay it on them for three holes, and they put the white flag up. And I'm like, all right, let's just have fun. I start shotgun and beers and having fun, doing um transfusions, and just calling it a day, you know. And then you take an L because we're not. Compete yes. anymore, you yes, guys. Be, you guys don't want to compete. You guys bow out like J. Cole. Who bows out? Nobody bows, bows out. out like J. Cole. No, that's not even true. You see me swing that driver, and you're like, God damn, that bitch. You have out. seen that shit went about four hundred. Yo, at the range. Hmm. Did this, you do this good? Weekend? Oh, listen, I was killing it, right? I can't wait to play. I, lo- I, I love that you're saying this because you're going to do so bad when we get on the course. No, listen, I was killing it. I had a at first half. I was like, oh, I'm, 
it was just my stance was totally jacked up, right? So I moved it up. I moved the ball, and I just had to shift the ball to the front. Dinging them. And I mean dinging them. And Tony's like, oh, my God. You're, you're really hitting, like, every ball good. I'm like, yeah, I know. I was like, I found it. Oh. I found it. Oh, hold on. And then I was like, this is how it would be in the first, like, nine holes sometimes. Right? Oh, my gosh. Listen. I don't want to talk listen, about that day. Listen. <laughs> I know. Listen, no. And I was like. So when they say I do bad, no, they're lying. Because somebody that hits the balls like this do bad? Nah. You so. are pumping <laughs> yourself Dude, up. I'm so, you don't even understand. Remember when we were at the range that one day uh, at, over uh, at the... Uh, Down yonder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over there. And um, and I was just showing you. I was like, you were you were you having a tough time. Remember we played. We had we picked our spots. A, I was having a tough time with my uh, my lob shots because we were playing the closest to the the flags and the right on like sixty and fifty. And then and I showed yeah, you. You did show me my sw- but my swing was impeccable that day, was it not? It was uh, even on long range. I'll give, uh, Come on, what are you talking about? I was the rhythm. I I was you. I even tried to get you in it. I wish you guys could see my face right now. You're such a I hate when you lie, dog. You lying. are such a liar. You're your, having your a- rhythm, your rhythm of your swing was phenomenal that day. I'll give you that. And you give me some pointers that helped me out a lot in my lob shot that I still use today. Bam. But no, but your long range was not impeccable. Okay. Yes, it is. Maybe now. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but it was not that day. <laughs> yeah. But I'll give you. It. I'll say from. You're five iron down, which is almost your whole middle of your bag. Was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you have a four and three, right? What? You have four and three iron, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a three. Yeah, the three is uh sometimes my best friend, but not but like it's very little my best friend. But when it is, I be loving that thing. That's a driving iron for me. It's just well, the thing at the right. That's what I'm saying. It's just going from my seven and then going right to a three or something like that. You can't do that. No. It's too much loft. That's yeah. too much change in loft. Yeah. And I'm not saying in that <clears throat> on that same course, but on the you know, the previous hole or not or the not it's that previous hole. Swing. Previous hole, yeah. And so that's what's crazy. Yeah. How did we get here? I don't know. <laughs> Talking about uh disappointing games, maybe. I don't know. Oh I, yeah. I'm not a Chiefs fan, bro. Yeah, you are. You're a Pats fan? I am 100% through and through. My blood bleeds blue, silver, and red to the day I die. Even if we are. Just because you're American, dude. Okay, we know. And a Patriots fan. The real American team. The real American team? Mm -hmm. Is the Minnesota Vikings. All right. That's a fact. The Vikings aren't even from America, so we can just stop. Uh, are you kidding me right now? What? Are you kidding me right now? What? They settled here. Just like all the ancestors of America. Well. I didn't say United States of America. <laughs> but an America. America. At least they landed on the shores. Well, we are patriots. So. American patriots. Yeah, no. We're uh, Minnesota Vikings fans here on this podcast. And New England Patriots. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, your boy Rice has a day to turn himself in, it says. Ah, uh, forcing or eight charges. Yeah. Oh, like, but that's what they're bringing in, bringing him in on, I guess. All caught over a por- pair of stolen cleats. That was for a charity foundation, bro. So, this is what that was for. He was running. I don't know if he was running, but they found the cleats back there. They found stolen cleats from a charity in there. You think he's the one that's stolen? That'd be crazy. Don't know. It'd be crazy. To he's with a whole bunch of dudes. Yeah. Well, why steal cleats? Why right. do people steal? Right. So. Speeding? Don't do it. But I understand. It does seem like a, like a personal thing that you would do. For you to steal cleats, because if you're a half person, have not steal a lot. Yeah. Haves usually don't, so it's it's a little weird. You probably had to have not in your crew that maybe did something. Who knows? Anyway, you caused an accident, multiple accidents, and then fled the scene. Yeah, and you're caught on video. <laughs> yeah, 
be in this hand. Walking, not even running. Yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm masking up on the way out. Yeah, they should have, yeah, thrown something. Thrown something. Or at least cover the boy that's bringing all the bread in for the group. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, fall guy or something like shit. No, they, they, uh, it doesn't make sense. But I'm not saying it's right. It's yeah. no fall guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah. Another Henry Ruggs situation. Not killing somebody, but yeah, speeding totally different. accident going to jail now because yeah. he's facing possible jail time. Suspended. Suspension, if not released. Yeah. It's like, bro, what's going on with these receivers? Not even receivers, just rookies and first two-year players messing up. Yeah, there's something about speed, dude. And they won't even know. You know, maybe it was the best bet if you think about it. This is what they realize in their head. If he was drunk and he's at the scene, it would be way more worse of a charge than fleeing and then turn yourself in. Yeah, if you think about that. They did say he was under the influence or something. Or they but, now, but now they'll know, never know. Yeah. Because they didn't get the... He can't, he can't blow. So he now can't run just, his blood. Yeah. Nothing. Now they're going to play like he was super scared and blah, blah, blah. They're going to play some... Like some crybaby stuff. He called his he called his lawyer. He said, "I'm gonna ask." They said, "Get out of there." Yeah. I was even the one driving. Definitely get out of there. No, I'm like, <laughs> buckle up, buddy. Yeah, maybe one. Not for your lawyer that's making all that money. Buckle up, buddy. You're good. <laughs> Snitch nine. <laughs> <laughs> right. You gotta think about your future, bro. Yeah. You just no. want to. You just got a ring. Yeah. He just did the probably the best possible thing. So he's just gonna don't deny everything and. So, it's a shame. Yeah. Now he's got the Chiefs in shambles, bro. They're thinking about picking up a receiver from their rivals. Well, they already got a uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. Bro. Cool. Same situation as they were. Not even actually. You still don't even have nobody. They could get Tyler Boyd, right? Isn't That's he still what they're talking about getting yeah. Tyler Boyd? But I mean, maybe they want to dress in the draft. Hope Just, they you have get hell of players in the but draft. But now they have to waste draft. Capital, because homeboy's fucking up the shit, so his actions are fucking up the franchise. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who else, but there. I mean, there's probably a few people out there. So, mm, I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to free agency lately. It's been okay. quiet. You know what you do mm. after this year because you're gonna be a free agent because of the trade. If you're Diggs. Go to KC, the rival of the Bills. Yeah, but he's not even asking for too much. Nah, he's he's uh, I don't know how old he is, but he he's can't he 30. can't be he, he's thirty. He can't be asking a lot for much longer. I don't know, he looks sad on that trade, man. Do you looks, see it? He looks happy. People say he looks happy, but I think he went to. People also say he went to the wrong part of Texas. He went to be with his brother. Duh. But nobody. W- I would rather play with CJ Stroud. Than Dak Prescott. That is a unit, bro. Yeah, they're Scary. they're tough. They got Joe Mix in there, right? Tank, yeah, Tank Dell, and then the other brother, Nico Collins. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, buddy. It's a squad there, and their defense is good. Actually, I don't know. Andrew Schultz the Viking... didn't have such a bad career, or a bad season last year. Who? Andrew Schultz. Who's that? I don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Andrew Schultz. Don't do that. The comedian. Not Andrew Schultz. Schultz, I don't remember his first name. <laughs> See, what are you? I'm don't like, do, don't do that. <laughs> Maybe I was reading the sign. <laughs> yeah, Maybe clearly reading, reading his poster. Infamous. Oh my god, that's funny. Shout out. Um, who? Dalton Schultz. Dalton Schultz. The tight end. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't have such a bad. Uh, had him on my fantasy team. Didn't even know his first name, but you know, I knew when he had them numbers for me. Yeah, I think Dalton Schultz was on. Uh, Titan or Texans? No, no, he was on the Dallas Cowboys. I thought he was, and then he was on the Texans last year. Yeah, no, no. yeah. So now they got a squad there, um, but sure. we, you know, the Vikings pick up like three other defensive dudes. A little dress the defense in the in the draft. I mean, you lose three top guys. One guy we paid a grip of money to. I mean, but defense is good and all, but with that offense, you said, dude, no, because old boy is known for defense. Yeah, for sure. What's his name? 
Nico. No. No, something. D'Amico Ryans. D'Amico. Yeah. D'Amico Ryans, yeah. So D'Amico Ryans, he's known because he came from 49ers coaching there, so. Yeah. Under, uh, what's his name? Who? <laughs> you losing no, you got no name. Dang, I got to get back on, on my NFL grind. Go on. You know, it's like the league stops and uh, I stop and go to UFC or golf. Ryan? <laughs> He's the son of a former shh. NFL coach. Shh, shh, shh. I'm sounding out a word. <laughs> I don't want to say Shanahan. Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Woo. Kyle. Talk about- Kyle Shanahan. Yes. Talk about the hot seat, brother. Oh, That's my funny. God, dog. I need a thermostat. <laughs> That's crazy. That's funny <laughs> stuff. Sorry That's about that, stuff. guys. I'll get back up to par. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's April, you know. That is true. That's it's true. April. I shut that uh, that sport off. Yeah, because it's hard to watch the UFO. The UFO? Yeah. The XFL turned into the UFO. Oh, I thought you said UFO. I was like. No, UFO. Watching aliens, yeah, I actually, but um, yeah, yeah, it's hard to watch that stuff. Um, went to a Bad Bunny concert last night. How was it? Pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Um, I've been to my concert attendance, or I don't know what to say. The amount the concerts that I've been to are very limited. I've been to one when I was like 15 or 14, and I went to Chingy, right? Hey. And then I didn't go to another concert until with my wife, <laughs> and we went to Los Bukis <laughs> twice. <laughs> um, I think Los Bukis, no, Bu- Los Bukis once, and then we went to, uh, oh boy, her favorite guy, the, uh, the singer. Mark Antonio Solis, like three times. I know. Oh my God. Tune in Instagram, like, that sucks. I'm a pro of, like, I'm a, I'm a fan of him now. Are you? Yeah, I do like him. But he old. He's not like super old, but he old. Um, but he's, it's, it's pretty dope. She likes him a lot. So, um, but then we went to, oh, then we went to some other place up in, uh, up in the Fairfax area. And, uh, I don't know. These guys were just, just, they were now that. Talk about an old school band. That was crazy. So, like, all my stuff has been Hispanic music. Except for Chingy. Or Spanish music. Except for Chingy. And then I went to Bad Bunny up in D.C. That was dope. That was a vibe, though. That was a super vibe. Um, A lot of strobe lights. I was very deaf at the end of it. So, I can say now that was probably the best concert I've been to because of the limited amount of concerts that I've been to. My wife's been to, like, all like a whole bunch of Beyonce's. She's already been in Bad Bunny uh, once. She's done Chris Brown. She's done J Lo. She done like everything, all the concerts. Yeah, but you know, you got to stand the whole time and stuff like that. So it's cool if you're enjoying the music. It's fun, but uh, if you're not, but you can enjoy Bad Bunny because even if I don't know what he's saying, really, those beats go hard. Those bro. beats be hitting, bro. And the, but his like how he he. You could just vibe to Bad Bunny. It'd be like, da, 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 but this one it was even mm-hmm. totally like that all the way. <laughs> like it was like that, but like his music, it was different this time as well. Yeah, he just be coming out with bangers, bro. Yeah, he does. I mean, he's known for like rave music, right? I think so, or at least we would call it that. Yeah, but it was good. It was a good time. It was a good time. We had the, uh, we had. Uh, oh, then we went to Cuba Libre after that was tight. So. That was a vibe. Get your budget on? Yeah. No. I tried. Well, maybe. I don't even know, dude. I was dancing to so many damn songs last night. It was crazy. You didn't even know. You were dancing with shots by the end. Yeah. It was a lot. And I told her, I was like, listen, you know, I look crazy dancing, but I'm just dancing here with you. So, you know. Just be happy I'm here. But it's just like, you know, sometimes, like, clearly, I f- I'll be here. I'll be listening to another beat. I don't even know. the Like, my the beat that I'm going to is not the beat that she'd be going to. I know I've witnessed. <laughs> Hello, but I don't. I feel like I don't look bad doing it. But it's just that we're if we're off beat doing it. That's what's weird. You don't look bad. You just look like 
Damn, that guy's having a lot more fun than everybody else on this floor. <laughs> this must be a silent disco. Oh, shut up. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. <clears throat> but, uh, but, yeah, that was cool. Well, I think we need to broaden your uh, concert. I know. I was supposed to go to the burner one. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, we, I think we were out of town when it went on. No, I didn't go. I had to work. But you were in Colorado, I want to say, or something like that? No, I was. It was in August. It was in August. I was up in Illinois. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't go that either. I was working. Yeah. So we didn't get to go to that. I wish I did. That that was my, uh, that was a good, really, really good lineup. I would have loved that. Shout out to Burn. Big Burn. Big Burner. Yes, sir. Cookies. Um, And then, uh, yeah. What, What happened on Monday? The eclipse, yeah. AKA the end of the world to some. Yeah, it was the end of the world. We had our tin foil hats on, and our glasses. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Take me to us. Take me to your home. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Um, a lot of people thought of the end of the world. Um, I did kind of too. I, I guess I got some supplies and stuff like that. Stocked up on the water, of course. Stocked up on water. Essentials. I got two weeks worth of like food that can that's like good until like twenty twenty six. I just did water. Yeah, <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. But uh, that was cool. We all got together as a family. And did that? You got to have an Instagram filter in real life. Yeah, that was wild. Right, walking outside. Yeah, I feel like I was like. It was super tinted. Under the influence of something. Yeah, like dark magic. Or just high. Yeah, or high. But dark magic. It was, it, it was like weird. But I was happy though. I was very tired after. Yeah. Extremely tired. Are you tired. still tired or no? Um, It's lingered a little bit. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I was tired too because I did go to sleep earlier. Yeah. And I, but I felt good the next day. I was well rested for sure. Yeah. Well, was yeah. next day was yesterday. So. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I was well rested for sure. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. But it was cool. We got a you got a good picture. Got a fire picture, bro. And yeah. risked my eyeballs. Yeah, we all got to see it though without our glasses. So that was tight. Hey, but uh, Jorge, my orbital bone's okay. Okay. Am I? <laughs> I'm gonna. What is he? What is he? I'm gonna break his orbital. I'm gonna break your eye orbital. Eye orbital. Yeah, he says eye orbital. He has to add all that extra shit up in there. It's crazy. It's just called an orbital, brother. Yeah. Jeez, we already know what you're saying. Thank and you. He says that for about everybody. Why? Why? Has he even done that before? He opened up the encyclopedia, learned a new word, and was like, "I'm yeah. using that." Yeah, I'm using it for the next fucking year. Or he's watching like House. <laughs> Dang, I got a PhD now. <laughs> That's funny. Oh uh, mm-hmm. shit! Or he's trying to be a a, a plastic surgeon, something. <laughs> Jesus, dude, come on! Yeah, it's like let it's it like go. we get it. I hope it all again with the eye hope it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right. well, are you ready? For? Or would you rather? I would you rather? All right, here we go. (laughs) Would you rather take one 24-hour continuous shit once a year or full-on diarrhea your pants, but you don't know when it's coming? And I'm talking like Hershey squirt. If you're wearing khakis, bro, then we're now army fatigues, diarrhea. Just one time, though. But, yeah, but you don't know when it's coming. So out of 365 days, 24 hours in each day. Dude, imagine you're in there. 60 minutes in each hour. Beating that cheeks. That I'm worrying man. about. Shitting yourself. Shitting myself. Not just shitting yourself, diarrhea. You're in there beating cheeks, bro. Next thing you know, you blew, you paint the back wall. <laughs> that That's a dilemma. It, and it's kinda, stinky. You're done. Kinda. Oh, kinda. you're done? But you're it's done. a great, great story. Until you do it again, then it's a trend. You can't do it again because well, you said it once. Once a year. Yeah. A year. What if you do it again next so year? So it's the rest of your life? Rest of your life, bro. You, once a year, you're shitting explosive water. 
and you uh-huh. don't know when it's coming. Or once a year. Shitting for 24 hours? That's crazy. Or no, once. Yeah, once a year. Shitting continuously for 24 hours, bro. But when you die, But you know it's coming. When do you die, bro? bro. Dude, get those little uh, Gatorade j- uh, Jello bites. Get some electrolytes. Bring some snacks. You wouldn't I- have nothing to poop. iPad. What are you talking about? You wouldn't have anything. Dude, it's happening somehow. So just magically? Magically just fucking... Sh- Shit coming out. Continuously. It's not even breaking off. You got to do a lot of flushes. For 24 hours? I'm going with diarrhea. Dude, I would just get in like a plane and just... You're going to be in a plane for 24 hours? That would be the most boring shit of my life. No, and just have your ass hanging out. I'm just worried about shitting. Hemorrhoids, bro. Around the world. (laughs) You can drop shit all around the world. How long does it take to fly around the world? I don't know. The whole world. I don't fucking know. You might be able to do a full rotation, get a full Full. little loop. Yeah. I might be able to do that. I could shit in every part of the world. Get yourself a little Guinness. Get us an award. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I would call it. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, you know we, what? But. That. Yeah. We could do that. Be a couple. Yeah. First man to shit a full circle around the world. Yeah. First man to shit for 24 hours. What about diarrhea? But the diarrhea, though, does it hurt or does it just come out? I don't know, bro. It's just. Is it deep? But if it's like a great relief, you know, like sometimes you're like, Bleh! it's just all. It's just the. <sighs> you're like, I'm dude. Not doing, I'm not dealing with that cleanup every year, bro. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. What if, what if but you, you would do it for 24 hours. That's crazy. That's a crazy waste of time. Dude. I would rather just shit myself. Can't come to work today. Why? It's shitting day. <laughs> Once a year? It's like an extra holiday, extra free day off, you know? Nice. Just hook up the Vikings. Like, turn on Vikings on Netflix, bro. Get it popping. And just shit. Volume high. No. So you don't got to listen to your stomach. No, nah, because <clears throat> what I told my kids was um, the best thing you could do if you ever want to get out of a situation, like if you ever want to leave work, get out of school, sure. anything, shit yourself. Because mm-hmm. nobody can tell you that you can't go home and change your pants. And then you most likely not come back, You're right? Because of the whole thing. Yeah. So... With that said, I would shit myself. Once a year. Yeah. You're gonna sit down in your car. I would always have a soggy extra. Pants, I would no. I would. I would never because I would well, always. You don't need to leave work because I know this. Huh? You don't need to leave work. No, they don't know that. I'm telling. You. No, I need to go wash my asshole. Hop in the sink, brother. I know you got to change your clothes here. Or, oh, dude, it doesn't even. You think about it, it goes up your shirt. Jesus. Because so, <laughs> you know, like babies, you know, like babies, you inverted, you know, babies diapers out explodes and then it goes up their back sometimes. She's like, oh, because they're in the car seat or something. God. You're like, oh, my God, what happened? So it could be like that. You need a whole wardrobe change. Huh? <sighs> yeah. Damn, I'm showering after. I can't do that. I'd rather know what I'm in for to prepare myself like, hey, uh, I bought you a ticket out of town, babe. Um. Uh, Really want you to go enjoy this trip because I'm going to shit in peace for 24 hours. I need to figure out how I'm going to fall asleep and hold my body up on the toilet. No, I need support. <laughs> no. I'm going to be Because you, know you know what Well, if coming. you pass out, because it's just constant. You're like, oh, my God. And then you, hey, you know those rides that people f- be passing out on when they go high and shoot, shoot in the sky or whatever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, <gasps> that's what would happen. You just wake up and still going? <gasps> Oh, heck no, dog. I'd just rather shit myself anytime. That'd be fine. Once a year? Yeah. Not knowing it's coming? Yeah. Do you think about all the bad situations you could be in? What if you're meeting the, meeting the president? Shit yourself. I wouldn't care. He would never forget that. The world wouldn't forget it. Exactly. No. You'd, be like, you'd be like on that Spongebob episode, I rip my pants, but you'd be like, I shit my pants. You'd be, like, oh, you're the, you'd be walking down the street. Dude, you're the guy that shits his pants on national TV. No. I'd yeah. rather be the guy that shits and nobody knows for 24 hours at home. Everybody would know. No, nope, just close family. You know why? Why? You don't get to pick when you start shitting yeah. for 24 hours. That's the thing. You get to know when you're going to shit for 24 hours. No, you don't. Or you can't. Just, you didn't say that. Yes, I did. No, you didn't say you know. So you're just going to 
randomly. Yes, I no, yes, I did. No, dude, we can run this back. Cause you I can run it. it back. It does not say it. Yes, it does. No. Mm-hmm. Would you rather? You didn't say you could pick. How can you pick when you want to take no, a shit for twenty four hours? You know when it's like you know. Oh shit! Like like you're about to have a baby or something. No, but like you just have. How the, do you know? You have the intuition. Like damn. April, you have a women's intuition. April fifteenth. I'm gonna be shitting for twenty four hours. You have hours. women's intuition. I guess if that's what you want to call it, it could be like April fifteenth of twenty twenty four, then twenty twenty five. Fuck, it's all the way in December. You're like, damn, that's a stretch, bro. That's ne- it's not necessarily a year to the day. But you have the intuition. And you're just like, damn, it's coming up. You just like feel like you're about to shit yourself. Could miss out on Christmas. Could miss out on Thanksgiving. So you never have to miss out on anything if you just shit your pants. Once. Or shit your pants during that. Christmas, Thanksgiving. Okay, and then I can come yeah. back. I'm yeah, sorry, fuck guys. My, fuck my whole thing. You guys, look. Up. Sorry, guys. You know my condition. Sorry, I shit all over the fucking Thanksgiving meal. Oh, so <laughs> you're... Why is your ass face <laughs> the fucking food? What if you're like, oh, I need to get up and get a napkin. Turn around. Boom. Over. I'm pissed. Who said it explodes out of I'm, your pants I'm looking like at a you hole? Like, I'm looking at you like, bro, come on. Why? Why would it go out, come on, bro. Go out of your pants? Oh, no. Don't even want you shitting around my Thanksgiving meal. So, I think that's fine. I think once you change, we're we're fighting because I'm not eating anything for Thanksgiving. I'm not cooking. Again. Or I'm not cooking again. You're in a pool. <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> that would be crazy. Imagine how traumatizing it would be as a kid. They'd just be like, "Oh, it's chocolate milk or something." Fucking prom, mac and got your girl. You think you're the man? You mm-hmm. just shit all over the floor. No, you, just, you what you do? You start wearing diapers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. And then what about that night? What? <laughs> you go home on prom, you're like, I'm about to do it. Got to stick a cork <laughs> in it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then, you know, you get undressed and you got to pull off this huggy. Nah. No, you Deal did. breaker, bro. Deal breaker. No. Yeah. You gotta Maybe be- if you're married. Huh? <laughs> Maybe if you're married, you can wear huggies 24-7. Yeah. But now. Yeah, that's a tough one. I would do uh, shit myself, though. No. Yours is more convenient if you could choose it, but yours is, it could come out at any time still. Dude, you can. You don't get to choose it, but it tells you. Hey, it doesn't tell you. What to who tells you, dude? Your, 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 your intuition. Your, it talks to the you? Stars. The stars. The stars. <laughs> Odin. Is this a power that we got from the eclipse? Yeah. The booty goons let you know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Big pause, dude. The booty. <laughs> Who said that? Ray J, right? On the Breakfast Club or something like that. That so. was funny. <laughs> He's like, got the booty goons. <laughs> yeah. 24 hour shit for me, diarrhea for you. Understood. Right? 100%. 100%. I'll be shitting around my Thanksgiving. It's fine. It's fine. You You just think it's gravy. So, well, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys uh, for listening. We'll be back most likely next week. We will be back next week. Talk about the results of uh, UFC. Talk about some other stuff. We got some other stuff in the works lined up to talk about. So, uh, we'll do that. Yeah. I think I said this in the last video, but let us know if you want to see us go play a little uh, three-hole competition since he thinks he can beat me. Oh, I definitely can. I definitely you know, can. We'll break it down like you're watching the Masters. You know, I'll put up the scorecards and everything for every stroke. Um, and I'll put on my victory red and, and bring it. Okay. I'm good. I tell the truth all the time. Yep. I show the truth via action. No. And it's going to be public nationwide. Is it? Yep. Is it? Yes, it will. <laughs> okay. Well, don't forget to get your ass kicked. <laughs> Stop. Go ahead. Stop. <laughs> Just saying, dog. <laughs> okay. I don't like when you lie in here. All right. Well, this guy thinks he's going to beat me. He, uh, one time I saw him drive 25 yards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've seen you drive negative one. I've seen you. Dude, it jumped up in the a, air and went behind you. What I've are seen you talking you about? On a I've never th- done that. I've seen you on a par three try to hit a ball. Ten times. 
and still miss. That was so long ago, and it was never ten times. Twenty twenty three isn't very long. Ago. It was never twenty. I have not played like that for, <laughs> for years. So stop. That'd be wild. Oh wait, hold on. You're talking about that one. Oh, yeah, oh that was one. That was crazy. <laughs> I was in there with dad. Like worst day of my life. I'm just gonna hit it for him. Um, I never. That was crazy. I couldn't. I don't know. I couldn't get off the box on that. That you're right on that one. That was last year when I, and that guy uh, said you did a little leprechaun goodbye, Irish goodbye, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was a wild one. I do admit to that one. That I, I don't know what was going on. I think I was just. I wasn't even in my. I was in my head because I was had a run. You had to go home. Yeah. And uh, people kept calling me. Yeah. Not my wife. No. The 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 little uh little ones. Yeah. The I give you the benefit of the doubt on that. Goblins. But I do appreciate that moment. Yeah, that was crazy. That was the wildest moment I've ever had in my life. It was wild to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering. Is he blind? <laughs> Did he all of a sudden lose his sight out of I nowhere? literally missed the ball. Like, yeah. I'm no, I didn't even hit the ball. No, you hit the ground. I hit the ground. I sw- I whiffed. I didn't. I couldn't. There, The Lord was like, you're not playing any more golf today. Swear, right? Didn't I say that? I was like, yeah. it was a weird. Somebody I couldn't even. Me I'm done. Couldn't, yeah, I couldn't touch the ball. Never, ever had that problem. So. Didn't even knock it off the tee. Nope. Didn't even like tap it and it just falls over. No. If you're talking about powers, that was something. Yeah. So, that was wild. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Virginia Vices. TikTok uh, if you want to. TikTok if you want Not to. Not really into it. So, But you do it. I do we it. We do it. For you. <laughs> for you special ones that love TikTok. I don't even have TikTok, but we have TikTok for uh, the pod. Um, but follow us on Insta, like we said. Um, share our videos. Subscribe on YouTube. Short, we got our shorts out there. We got all that stuff. So Don't forget to like the video. Also, down below in the comments, make sure you uh, give us a zesty would you rather. Maybe uh, we'll give you a shout out and post it for next time. For sure. All right. All right. Later, later.